chest hair popping out. Hey gearheads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the tech support team and today we're doing part two of our two part series of multi-camera setup and what it takes. And uh, part one was our HD setup with our 1080p cameras, with our video production switcher as well as our joystick controller. Today we're doing the 4K setup and today we're using our two of our brand new BG Adamo 4K cameras, as well as our test pattern generator, a computer, and, and also we're including today our multi-viewer, our 12G SDI multi-viewer. It includes SDI as well, but not just 3G, but it's 12G, that's at 4K at 60 hertz resolution over SDI multi-viewer. As you can see, we have it hooked up already. We have four inputs. And uh, so today we're gonna go over our 4K setup from start to finish. Um, you know, we did a lot in our last video of just how to network and everything, and we're gonna kind of go over it similarly, but if you miss some things, or if I don't go over anything in this video, it'll be referenced in the part one. And so our first step is, as you can see, is plug everything in. Um, let's get the camera started. So as you can see, we have everything networked through our PoE network switch here, um, and power it on. Um, like always, our cameras are PoE, power over ethernet, so they're powered up there. For video distribution, we have, this one is it has 12G SDI coming out to our multi-viewer, and this one is our 4K HDMI out, as well as into our multi-viewer. So after you got your cameras plugged in, powered on, plugged into your video sources, uh, the for next thing you wanna do is network these cameras. So you can talk to your joystick controller as well as you get them online, and you can control them over the GUI, the joystick controller, and uh, just view them as well and get them on your local network. And our, in our last video, our HD video, um, you saw the process of just logging into the IP address and changing your computer to match the IP address of the camera and just, uh, which is a standard way, but with Adamo, just with a couple pushes of the button, you can network the camera real easily. As long as the cameras are going into a switch, our router that has a DHCP server that'll provide uh, local IP addresses, you should be good to go. So let's go over that setup. Okay, so first thing we wanna do, and we did already, is we actually put our main camera up on the screen. It was on our multi-viewer, it was in quad view, as you can see are our four sources, but I got, went ahead and put it in full view and just select the source I wanted to be on a full screen. As you can see, uh, camera one here is on full screen, that way we can see the IP address, everything on the screen when we're networking it. Also, I turned off our camera number two because both cameras are in the same IR range of the remote, and I just wanna make sure uh, the commands I'm sending I'm only sending it to one camera and so I just go ahead and turn it off and that's always recommended when you're um, networking multiple cameras using the remote. You can always change the uh, camera select on here through different commands that's in the manual as well but just for simplicity I just turn it off and then I'll network this one and then I'll um, go ahead and network that one when I'm ready. So first thing we want to do is turn the DHCP option on and so you can do that with just uh, the command of star star one. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and put up star star one right in front of the sensor there. As you can see on the screen, it says DHCP on, restart to take effect. And now you can also actually restart the camera with the remote with star star four. If you're not um, able to unplug the camera, plug it back in, or just do a turn the on and off uh, switch on the back. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna do star star four and the camera is now gonna reset. It's not gonna factor reset or anything, it's just gonna do a reboot to, um, it's gonna, now it's gonna pull a local IP address, so when the camera turns back on, it's gonna display a new IP address that they pulled from our local address, an open uh, IP address that's not in use, um, and it matches our network. Um, so it's no, no longer gonna be 192.168.5.163, it's gonna be something that matches our network. And so as it's turning on, um, also the current IP address will always display like for the first 10 seconds when you turn on the camera. If you're plugged into like an HDMI monitor, SDI monitor, um, if you're always curious what the IP address is. But also if you happen to, for the first 10 seconds, if you happen to miss it, you can always hit star star three with the remote and that will uh, display your current IP address once again. So you always know what your IP address is gonna be with just with star star three. And I, uh, I think we're gonna do that. So let's go ahead and hit star star three three is 192.168.40.120. Now that's on our local address. And so what I always recommend after the fact is I like to turn DHCP off and turn static back on. That way, if you move the camera around and the DHCP is on, if you happen to plug into another network or just a different VLAN, it might pull another address and you don't know it. So I like to um, pull an address from our, our local uh, 
local area network and then I like to put it back on static so I always know what it's gonna be. So um, you can do that by hitting star star two, that turns DHCP off. It's not gonna change it back to the default, it's just gonna keep it on that IP address until we change it. So let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna hit star star two and then now it says DHCP off, restart to take effect and then I'm gonna do star star four once again. So it's just gonna restart to make sure that DHCP is off and the new IP address is 192.168.40.120. Just a really easy uh, way to network your camera to your local network. I'm gonna go ahead and do it to my second camera. So we have two cameras and, we, and then, uh, but you don't need to watch that because it's the same exact process. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the joystick. So see you on the other side. Okay, now we have both cameras networked. This is uh, .40.120 and .40.138. And I put them both on static. And so next thing we're gonna do is get our joystick talking to it, the commander. Um, so in like our previous video, part one, we just gotta, it's plugged into our switch and then just put this on DHCP. It'll pull a local IP address and then we'll go ahead and log into the web GUI to add the cameras. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. Hit the setup menu, put it on, um, Go to network attribute, go to DHCP, and then restart the joystick. And it's gonna pull a local IP address. All right, the joystick restarted and it pulled a new native IP from our local network is 192.168.40.164. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch that into our uh, web GUI here, our, into Chrome.40. And this will pull up the web, web page of the joystick. And once again, username is admin and no password. Go ahead and hit login. And now we can add our cameras. And so I'm gonna add the first camera, which is this guy right here, which is 192.168.40.120. And port number, the Visca, that's the Visca port number because we're using Visca UDP, 1259. And that's the same for both cameras. I hit save. That's how easy it is to add a camera. And if you happen to forget uh, what the IP address is, don't forget you can do star star three with the remote. Um, if you forget what the IP address is, if you didn't write it down after you networked it, um, actually I just had to do that. Um, IP address is 192.168.40.138. Port number once again, 1259, hit save and boom. And there we go, both cameras are ready to go. So just go over to the joystick and select camera you wanna start uh, moving around. I'm gonna go ahead and select camera one. And we're connected and boom. There we go. Just moving around, as you can see, we are filming in here. Really easy to move around, toggle. Um, and then camera two, connected. There we go. And. Um, and what's great about this multi-viewer is it has two outputs. So obviously I have one output here, but if you wanna, as you can see, I'm looking behind me. So it has a, a dual mirrored uh, simultaneous output, HDMI output. So if I wanna have a monitor to view, if for, for some reason, if it, all the, everything's behind you, you can have another monitor in front of you to view all, uh, um, view all your sources. Um, and so, Overall, this is a great setup, a very commercial, very professional 4K running SDI, HDMI, 4K at 60 or 12G. This is a great setup if you're uh, in the industry, you're looking to keep that 4K signal going throughout. Um, uh, you know, if you want to display over a multi-viewer, if you're doing a multiple, multiple camera setup, if you're like in a TV studio or any sort of studio, um, recording studio, um, even if you're at a church live streaming, uh, the multi-viewer also has USB out, like a capture, where you can actually plug this into your computer and live stream from here as well. It does go down to 1080p, um, but the video source is out directly or all 4K. So if you wanna to go to your 4K monitors, TVs, whatever, whatever it may be, everything stays at 4K. Um, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. This concludes our uh, part two of our multi-camera setup where you're using multiple cameras, multi-viewing, uh, as well as like using a production switcher, as well as our commander joystick to connect cameras. Uh, obviously you can add more cameras if needed. Uh, most of our switchers carry up to four to six sources. Um, and this um, 
or the joystick can control. This one can control up to seven cameras um, all at once. Um, you can add four cameras, or excuse me, seven cameras as well. So if you have any questions about any of this, and um, feel free to leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you like always. Uh, we'd love to hear any feedback, any questions, what you're thinking, what your environment is, how we can help your needs. Um, and so uh, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so be notified and uh, have a great day. Where?